Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. Two quarter circles with radii 2 and 3 are inscribed in a semicircle with radius r. Find the radius. Nice. So, what are we going to do? We have a semicircle. We don't know the radius of the semicircle. And two quarter circles are inscribed in it. And we do know their radii 2 and 3. So, let's start by marking those. This is a 2. This is a 2, this is a 3, the height here, and that's also 3. But before I mark it, I want to go ahead and uh, make some connections here, you know. Uh, I think that will be helpful. So let me go ahead and connect the center of the semicircle to the intersection point of the quarter circle and the semicircle. And then I will be making another connection, which is uh, going to be super important. I'll connect this point to this point, all right? It's going to be like a little tiny piece there, which we're going to use. Okay. All right, awesome. Now, what do we have? Well, we do have, first of all, uh, this is the center for the uh, blue circle, right? I mean, the blue quarter circle. So this is the center for the blue quarter circle. Let's not get, get that wrong. And uh, we do know that, um, this, these are quarter circles, so this should be a 90 degree angle. Therefore, I do have a tiny, tiny right triangle here, don't I? And the height of this triangle is 3. Okay, what about the base of this triangle? Well, let's call that x. Awesome. And what do we know about this piece here? I don't think we're going to need that length, but um, yeah, I don't think we need that. So we're good. But uh, from this point to that point, now we know that it's going to be x plus 2. Nice. What else do we know? Well, we know that the radii of the quarter circles are 2 and 3. But what about the hypotenuses, right? Or hypotenai? So, is that hypotenuses? Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's call it hypotenuses. So, if you look at this length here, like this and this one. Well, this point is actually on the semicircle, isn't it? This circle, I mean, this point here is on the semicircle. So, uh, that is the radius of the semicircle, which is r. So, the hypotenuse of this little tiny right triangle here is going to be r, correct? Okay, awesome. What about the height? Well, we said that the height is 3. Wow, great. So, we got an equation here. That's one equation. But guess what? We do need another equation. So, how do we come up with another equation? So we're going to be using this right triangle this time. But is that a right triangle? Yep, it is because this is a quarter circle. It has to be a right triangle. What about the base of this triangle? It is 2 plus x, as you can see from this picture. And the height is 2. Awesome. We pretty much have what we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and write down our equations. And then we're going to be solving a system. Okay, cool. So, the first equation, which one do you want to write first? Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go left to right. So, this one is 2 plus x squared, which is the base, plus height, which is 2 squared, is equal to the hypotenuse. Oh, we didn't talk about this, right? What about the hypotenuse here? Well, this is the center for the semicircle, and that's a point on the semicircle. Therefore, the distance between them is actually going to be the radius of the semicircle again, which happens to be r. Beautiful. So this is equal to r squared. Nice. Uh, we can work this out a little bit, but let's go ahead and write down the other equation as well, and then we're going to decide how to solve it. So this one, the second right triangle, which is kind of tiny, uh, is uh, x and 3. Those are the legs, and the hypotenuse is r. So it's going to look like x squared plus r squared is equal to 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, cool. Right? Wait, that's not right. x squared plus 3 squared. Okay, it's, it's the other way around. Okay, so that's not r squared. This is supposed to be 3 squared, and the result is supposed to be r squared. Wow, this is beautiful. You know why? Because both of these equations have r squared on the right-hand side. Nice. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal, right? So these two things are equal. Beautiful. So that's going to give us x. Our goal is not to find x, but that's okay. After finding x, we can always find r. Okay. So let's go ahead and set these equal to each other. 2 plus x quantity 
squared plus 2 squared, which is 4, equals x squared plus 9. And I don't even know why I wrote it as 2 squared and 3 squared. I could just write 4 and 9. But anyways, so uh, I, I think it would make sense if we expand this. 4 plus 4x plus x squared plus 4 is equal to x squared plus 9. Now, one of the best things about this equation is that x squared cancels out and we end up with a linear equation, which is nice. Okay, so what are we going to do from this point on? Well, let's see. This is the only x we have. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Subtract that from 9, you get x equal, 4x equals 1, which means x equals 1 fourth. Awesome. Now, when we find the radius, you're going to realize that this length is actually really small. And you can also compare it to 2. Now, this little piece here is actually 1 eighth of 2. So, right? Is that cor correct? Yeah. So that's tiny. That's why it's tiny. Okay. And the reason why it's tiny is these quarter circles are kind of close to each other in terms of, in terms of their radii. If you make them more like far apart, but there's a limit. Anyways... Uh, I kind of played with this, so, you know, to find something nicer. Uh, this is what came up. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Uh, I got the value of x, so I can go ahead. And second equation seems to be simpler, so let's go ahead and substitute x over there. 1 over 4 squared plus 9 is equal to r squared. So from here, r squared is equal to 9 plus 1 over 16, which is equal to 9 times 16 plus 1, which is equal to 145 over 16. Now, if you go ahead and square root both sides, you're going to be getting the square root of 145 divided by 4 for the radius. Now, is this simplifiable? Like, can we simplify this? No, not really, because 145 is 29 times 5, and they're both prime, and they're not perfect squares, obviously. Okay, so that's the answer then. The radius is the square root of 145. Now, if you think about it, square root of 145 is going to be kind of like a 12-ish, right? Pretty close to 12, like really close. And a 12 divided by 4 is about 3, so I think it makes sense, right, for the radius of the semicircle to be 3. It makes sense. Okay, and there's no other value to compare to, right? I mean, that's the only x value that comes from a linear equation, so this answer is valid. All right, so this is a good point to stop. Thank you for watching. I would like to see you commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.